Happy holidays, everyone, from all of us at 2K Sports. Thanks for joining us at this most special time of the year. With Grant Hill and Clark Kellogg, I'm Brian Anderson. Allie LaForce is our reporter. Well, a chance to check out some stats for Amir Coffey. And over the last five games, his field goal percentage has increased. And you can make a case his confidence as well because of this. Now the opening lineup for the Los and Angeles ball. Clippers. Filling up the wings, it's Mann and George. Kawhi and Zubox make up the front court, and it's Harden in at the point. And for the Lakers, Vanderbilt at power forward with Davis in the middle. Cam Reddish is out there with LeBron James. And it's Prince in at the three, small forward. Ooh, the rumor mill is in full effect when it comes to coaches on the hot seat, Clark. These days, do you think we're seeing too many coaching changes? Yes. There's a level of impatience when it comes to changing coaches. Coaches don't seem to get the time they used to, and I don't think that's a good thing. So the Clippers win the tip. Leonard against Vanderbilt. And the basket by Leonard. Oh, wow. oh, this is why you get Leonard the ball inside and just let him go to work. Outside Vanderbilt. George against Prince. Pass to Vanderbilt. Here's Davis. Back to Vanderbilt. Clock at six. Second chance effort. Davis, the pass to Vanderbilt. Blocked! George for three. Here's Leonard. And so he draws the foul, headed to the line to shoot a pair. Jared Vanderbilt picks one up. Some really tough defense inside, but Leonard won't back down. I mean, he's just scrappy. He wants to make the defense work twice as hard. First free throw is good. You know, Grant, what's interesting about the Clippers, they play solid defense, even though they're not overly disruptive. Well, B.A., think about this. So many veterans, they know how to position themselves. They know where the help is coming from, too. And, of course, they know when to pick their spots. Now, here's Davis. Here's Prince. Pass to James. Always a nice way to start. Takes his first one. Even when LeBron faces resistance, he just turns up the dial of intensity and gets it done. Here's George, averaging almost 23 points a contest. A fantastic offensive player. First quarter and about a minute and a half in. Davis with it, guarded now by George. And it goes out of bounds. Last touch by George. And now it's time to take another view of that huge swat. Boy, I like the fact that's intimidation right away. Got to show those shooters you're going to be in their face all night long. James passes to Davis. Outside Reddish. Against Vanderbilt. Six on the shot clock. For three. You know, it's awesome to see Harden giving his all on defense. That's been an area that he's needed to improve on. Really making an effort to stay with his guy. And the call will be against James Harden. That's his first foul of the game. That's his first personal foul. First team foul. And about two minutes into the first quarter here. It's Prince on the wing. Davis finds Prince. Six to shoot. And the ball out of play. The Clippers will have it. It's the 2K leaderboard featuring this month's field goal percentage leaders. Ivica Zubac, third. One of the hottest players in the league. He's been really sharp from the field recently. And Harden's got the ball here for the L.A. Clippers. They're coming off that win against the Heat. Talk about strong offensive production. They went out, played to their strengths, and were successful as a result. Yeah, you know, not deviating from the game plan is critical. You've got to trust in the system. And it's not always Leonard's forte, but he's really developed a solid passing game. 
outside Reddish. Back to James. Down low. Oh, and he took a hard foul on the shot. So he'll head to the line to shoot a pair. It's going to be on even to Zubats. <laughs> so Second close on the finish. I mean, it could have been a three-point opportunity. Full oh, throttle pedal to the middle, attacking basketball. I like that. Take a break. Take a break. Two shots. That free throw, good from Davis. In many ways, Anthony Davis is the epitome of a two-way threat. He can be just dominating on both sides of the ball with his physicality. So he gets them both. And so it's Leonard with it. He'll bring it up for the LA Clippers. Three-point lead. Pass to Harden. George outside. Clock at six. Over Prince. Shots blocked. Excellent toughness on the defensive end. And that's what Prince does. He's got size and he's got the will to defend at a high level. And George launches it from deep. The Lakers have gone one of four to begin this one. Outside Reddish. It's Prince on the wing. George defending. To the inside. Man. Out of bounds. The Clippers will keep possession. Clippers ball. First quarter of action, just under three and a half minutes played. After Harden retires, most fans will realize how truly generational the talent he's been. Yeah, I think he's one of the best shooting guards to ever play. A unique shooting guard. Big and strong and quick and crafty. Deep range, excellent passer. Played a lot of different styles effectively. He'll be much more appreciated after he's done than I think he's appreciated as he's playing. Making shots at the line. You need a good routine, and he certainly has one. Back to James. Right side, Davis. Just five to shoot. Over Zubox. And Davis gets it to go on the assist by James. Setting the table for his teammates, James. He enjoys sharing and passing the ball and getting others involved, I think, more than any other aspect of his game. Now here's Leonard, a real weapon on offense, averaging around 24 and a half a game. He's somebody that's really comfortable carrying the offensive load. James against Harden. Pass to Vanderbilt. Banked it in off the glass. Nice offense here. Close in. Great bet to go. The Clippers have gone just three for seven here at the start. And here's Zubats. Leonard with the ball. To the middle. Three shots, three baskets. Great efficiency so far. Oh, it's not easy trying to car Leonard inside. I can tell you that, guys. I mean, he's so good at using his body to get shots up over the defense. Now, here is James. Coming off a 34-point game against the Pelicans in New Orleans. And he did his part from the line. Drew fouls and made them count. Attacking in the painted area. Clearly that was their game plan coming in. Now Harden. He had a 15-point outing in their last game against Miami. Yeah, not to mention a couple of blocks, too. Making his presence felt at both ends of the floor. Got the ball where he wanted it, but then got swarmed. Prince, the pass to Davis. And he'll draw the foul. He'll head to the line for two. And they moved the ball so well, finishing in the top third in assists per game. So good at looking for the best shot possible at all times. And their transition offense really mirrors what's happening all around the league. Teams trying to get two-on-ones, three-on-twos, any numbers advantage possible.
That free throw good from Davis. Tucker's checked in for Zubats. He's off on the second. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard outside. The shot. Nice touch on the shot from close range. Leonard's got 10. He's putting them to the test this quarter, attacking every chance he gets. Outside Reddish. Back to James. And from the field after that one, three for four now. And the Clippers with the ball. The Lakers beat them last time when these two met in Los Angeles. They lost the battle of the second units the last time these teams played and lost the game. Sometimes the bench players are a little overlooked and undervalued, but make no mistake, they play a vital role in deciding game. Three on the clock. Unloads from 13. George, no good. He is zero for his last however many this quarter, guys. Might need to get him out and let him settle down a bit here. Now, here's James. He's got six. And he lobs it up. It's stolen by Leonard. To the paint. Here's Tucker. It's good. Mm -hmm. And the assist that time from Leonard. Assist from and the Clippers Kawhi lead by four. Leonard. Tucker doing a nice job getting it done from there. And James has got the ball here for the Los Angeles Lakers. They're moving on after the tough loss at the hands of the Pelicans. On the road, they got owned defensively. They just couldn't match the activity level of their opponent. And you know what, guys? It just seemed like they never really had the kind of energy necessary. They just weren't comfortable on the defensive end. Now here's Tucker. Pass to Harden. Now Leonard, guarded by Vanderbilt. Just five on the clock. From the high post. Leonard can't get it to go. And the shooter had very little space on that attempt. And guys, that's exactly the kind of high-impact defense they want to see out of him. Here's Davis. Nice follow-through on the fadeaway. Davis has got seven points. I know Davis would prefer to get it inside. But he's making the most of his mid-range chance. And the call is going to be, yes, an illegal screen. And taking a broader look here at the year-over-year -year scoring trend for Russell Westbrook. And the scoring trend over the last few years has been going down a bit. That's not what you want, and I'm sure it's something he's well aware of. Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Westbrook's checked in. Here's Reeves. 20 points for him last game against New Orleans. Reddish passes to Davis. The shot is good, and this game is back to even. Davis has got his third bucket of the night. <laughs> they are passing the ball around tremendously right now. Leonard against Vanderbilt. Leonard outside. Vanderbilt with the block. And it's out of bounds. Last touch by Vanderbilt. And the Lakers with some changes. Woods checked in for Vanderbilt. Hachimura comes in for Prince. And D'Angelo Russell subbed in for Reddish. Tice is checked in for the Clippers. Powell comes in for Harden. A clear look for Westbrook. Solid as a rock from 20 feet out. And the Clippers lead by two. Boy, Tucker ever unselfish in how he goes about his game. Nice job finding his teammate there. Reeves, the pass to Russell. Inside. Here's Davis. Misses off the right iron. The Clippers have got 7 of 15 to find the net. Westbrook outside. Leonard outside. Shot clock at six. The three. He drops it from range. And it's a five-point Clipper lead. 
And he's done this a time or two. Leonard with no panic late in the shot clock. Russell to pass to Davis. Back to Wood. Now here's Russell. Two back to Wood. Catch shots good. Russell making the play. Strong finish that time by Wood going up and through the contest to put it in. And the Clippers with the ball. Westbrook outside. Leonard on the wing. And he gets that one. Oh, wow. Leonard's got 15 points. Let's make sure you keep getting him touches. I mean, you love what he's doing at the offensive end. Don't go away from it. 124 left to play in the first. Pass to Davis. Here's Wood. Outside Russell. And here's Davis. Good efficiency. He's drained four out of five. Oh, you know, he's got to be exasperated right now, fellas. I mean, playing excellent ball, but they're still losing. Westbrook taking his time here. Double team on Leonard. Powell outside. Here's the floater. That infinite wingspan of Davis is on full display there. James is checked in for Davis. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Highland, he's checked in for Tice. The Lakers trail. Wood with it. Looking at the numbers, he's putting up seven points a game. Pass to Russell. Shoots over Westbrook. Russell, that's good. Attacking the heart of this defense. That's eight straight points inside. Buffalo bully ball right there, partner. And so it's Leonard who brings up the ball for the Clippers. work there as it goes. 17 points in the game. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Los Angeles Clippers. An insane quarter. No one could stop him. Time for a quick break. Then back to the action. It's been a pretty even game here after one quarter of play. And before we move on, what do you think about what we've seen from the Clippers? Well, they've used the fast break well to score easy points and keep the defense unsettled. And, you know, for them, guys, it's all about tempo. Keep the pressure on and do so as much as possible. And so in the game for the Clippers... George and Kawhi, the talented forward pair. Russell Westbrook out there with Norman Powell. And it's Tucker in at center. LeBron gets the bucket inside. Man, that's now 10 straight points in the paint. I'm not sure what's happened to their defense. I think they've really got to start committing more bodies down low and really kind of close that area off defensively. Here's George. And the shot goes down. George has got his first basket. PG-13, using that length inside. 
You know, over his career, Paul George has racked up more than his fair share of accolades, Greg. Well, he's a fixture at All-Star Weekend, that's for sure. Now, he's made the all-defensive team more than a few times. He's had an outstanding career. Let's check in with our reporter, Ali LaForce. Brian, the Clippers next season will inaugurate their futuristic new home court in Inglewood, designed to give fans every comfort, and the Clippers a distinct advantage as well. Along the baseline, 5,000 fans will fill 51 uninterrupted rows. The section, nicknamed The Wall, is acoustically designed to be loud. So, Brian, better get ready. <laughs> Turn it up. Thanks, Ellie. Now, here is James. Six to shoot. Wood passes to Achimura. Fires the three. Paul George pulls it in. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to Westbrook. And there's the call on Christian Wood. That's his first foul. And the Clippers making a change here. Brown's checked in. Team foul. Coming onto the floor for the Clippers, number 21, Kobe Brown. About a minute and a half into the second quarter. Russell against Westbrook. Pass to Brown. Five on the clock. To the middle. Tucker finds George. And the jam by George. Well, when we talk about boys, Paul George is excellent at finding ways to get his shots to fall in these moments, in part because he never seems to get out of himself. Here's Russell. Following the score by the Clippers. Clippers foul. Tice is checked in for the Clippers. Personal foul. First team foul. Clippers substitution. Number 27. Daniel Tice. And here in the second, two minutes gone by. And that one makes him two for two. He's in his rhythm. Well, I tell you, Russell looking very comfortable taking on aggressive defense and getting the job done. That's good focus on his part. Now here's George. 23 points for him last game against Miami. And his free throw numbers tell you a lot about his performance. He was very aggressive. Hachimura against Powell. Hachimura, the pass to James. Knocks it loose. Pass to Wood. Outside Russell, just five to shoot. Now Achimura. That falls. Nice Lee assist by Russell. Achimura. Now just a one-point Clipper lead. And so it's George with it. He brings it up for the Clippers. After this one, they're off to Phoenix to take on the Sun. It'll be their second game of a four-game road trip. Outside. Tice left side. The three is up. Out of bounds. It'll go to the Lakers. And a moment to check out who the Los Angeles Lakers have coming up. On Wednesday, they'll be matching up with Jimmy Butler and the Miami Heat. Then on Friday, they'll be matching up against Steven Adams and the Memphis Grizzlies. And looking at the Raptors matchup, it's going to be a hard-fought battle. You just hope they are able to execute their game plan as it should be a close one. Vanderbilt's checked in for the Lakers. Reddish comes in for Achimura. Zubats, he's checked in for the Clippers. James Harden comes in for Powell. Spins. The ball's knocked loose. Oh, it's stolen by Tucker. Pass to Harden. Westbrook outside. They set the pick. Four on the clock. Puts one up from 19. Harden can't hit. Great work by the defense. That's the intensity coaches want to see. Oh, LeBron, LeBron sending it home. Fighting through contact. Not easy trying to corral LeBron when he's focused on scoring. Good luck with that. The Clippers trail. Westbrook outside. Pass to Harden. To the paint. Here's Zubats. Yes, and a nice assist from Harden. 
Not the most effective pick, but he salvages the play with a terrific move. Here's Reeves. He's scoreless. Now here's Russell. And the call will be against James Harden. That'll be a second foul of the game. Fred, you have a terrific mid-range game. It feels like more players are going back to that now. Yeah, you know, it's interesting, B.A. The analytics say dunks and three-pointers. But that makes your offense almost just two-dimensional. In many cases, too predictable. You're seeing more and more players, particularly the elite ones, finding comfort in the mid-range. Five to shoot. James inside. Checked by Tucker. Shots good by James. James has got six points in the quarter. It's George on the wing. Reddish covering. Sinks it from just inside the baseline. And the Clippers lead by one. Yep, you know, after a score this first period, he's really turned it up a notch. Building some momentum. Oh, they get a hand on it. Oh, George with a steal. Outside Harden. Puts it up from 12. And again, it's the Clippers converting. All right, a look at how the hustle game has been going for the Clippers. Well, the effort they've shown on defense has been infectious. Everyone on this team continuing to jump at opportunities to come away with steals. You know, points off turnovers is something else they've excelled in. I expect the opponent at least to try to squeeze that orange a little better. And Vanderbilt slams it in. Making sure of it with the two-hand slam, B.A. Yeah, I don't blame him. With the score this tight, you cannot take a chance here. I get the feeling, guys, that he may be sensing that this is a critical time in this game. And here's Westbrook. Eight points in his last timeout. Pass to Harden. Rebound, the Lakers. Probably should have scored there. He usually does. Right side, Russell. Pass to Jane. Vanderbilt, screen on Tucker. Six on the shot clock. Here's James. Wow, some sturdy inside play from the bronze. You can tell he's feeling it. Hasn't missed a single shot all quarter. And there's a pick. Left side, Harden. With the crossover, and it's good on the lay-in. Harden's got nine points. Boy, I love watching Harden pat the rock. Has an unlimited number of moves to choose from. Endless. Pass to Reddish. Buries his first look. Already seven lead changes. These teams are really going after each other. It's been a brutal game to play, but a fun one to watch. Time called here. The Clippers decide to talk it over. And some changes here for the Lakers. Anthony Davis comes in for James, and Prince is subbed in for Russell. Leonard's checked in for the Clippers. Mann comes in for George. Now here's Harden. Nine points in the game. Westbrook outside. They set a pick. Pass to man. And here's Harden. That's good. For the day, he's four for six. Scoring well this quarter. Picking up steam as he goes. The Lakers have gone eight for nine here in the second. Reeves, the pass to Prince. Lays it up and in, despite excellent defense. Prince has gotten his first bucket of the night. Harden against Reddish. Take it away. Pass to Davis. Here's Vanderbilt. 
Here's Reeves. No points yet. Shot clock at three. Oh, and he blocks it off the glass. Wow. And that's out of bounds. The Lakers will retain possession. Let's take a look at the Western Conference standings now that the new year is upon us. Taking a look at the Clippers. They're currently in fourth place and trying their best to get a better seating. And check it out, the Lakers. They're currently in the 10th spot. When I look at the Lakers, they're really doing their best to rise through the rankings. Time will tell whether they can pull it off. You know, it's really hard to figure out exactly what's been missing, but there is something missing that perhaps could be the system they're playing in. Now here's Westbrook. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. On the wing, Harden. And the Clippers again with the bucket. Even when you think you have Harden pinned up, he still gets a shot past you. Incredibly creative. Here's Reeves. He's been contributing over 15 a game. Here's Reddish. Pass to Davis. And he takes it in for the layup off a very nice feed. Davis has got 13. Here's Mann. Leonard with the ball. Leonard, double team. Clock at six. Zubox with a screen on Prince. Here's Mann. Davis with a rebound. <laughs> the battle of the boards has been something to watch. Yeah, tit for tat on the glass. Just one more aspect of what's been a very closely contested ball game here. Here's Reeves. No made basket yet. Ooh, stolen by Westbrook. Oh, and the fast break for the Clippers. Pass to Leonard. So good near the hoop. Leonard. You know, when you're open on Westbrook's team, you make sure to find him. He's a selfless distributor. Reeves, the pass to Prince. Now here's Davis. 20 points for him last game against New Orleans. <laughs> what about all of his blocks? I mean, he intimidated shooters all game long. And here's Harden. He'll bring it up for the Clippers. Zubox with a screen on Reddish. Harden finds Zubox. And it's slammed in by Zubox. He's conniving, James creative, pacing, spacing, all of that on display. Incredible in the pick and roll. Here's Reeves, rounded by Westbrook. And Russell Westbrook gets the whistle that time. That's his first foul of the game. Norman Powell, he's checked in for Russell Westbrook. Coming onto the floor for the Clippers, number 24, Norman Powell. Clippers on D. It's a three-point game. Prince, the pass to Reddish. To the inside. Oh, stolen by Harden. Down low. Here's Leonard. It's good. And he drew contact on the shot, so he will go to the line. A three-point play opportunity. Second and the Lakers ball. making a change here. Russell is checked in. The line Kawhi Leonard. One shot. And Leonard no good on that one. And you know, guys, I mean, he is a solid free throw shooter. And of course, Leonard has everything in his game. They get it back outside Vanderbilt. Pass to Davis. And Davis gets double teamed. Down to five on the shot clock. Here's Reddish. And the three off target. He's certainly been cold this quarter, guys, but trying to shoot his way back into a groove. Now five seconds separating the shot clock and the game clock. Reddish against Leonard. Harden with a screen on Reddish. Here's Leonard. Leonard, unfazed by the D, knocks it down. You can really feel the momentum swinging in their direction. 
you know, they need to stay aggressive here. Build the lead up while they've got the chance. Don't waste this opportunity. And so it's the Los Angeles Clippers closing out this quarter with a seven-point lead. And it's all due to their ability to own the paint. They've been dominant down low. All right, now let's check in with Allie LaForce. Allie, what do you have? I'm joined by Clippers head coach Ty Lue and coach when Kawhi Leonard comes out like he has tonight. What's the overall impact? It impacts our team. I think, you know, everything opens up, you know, guys are less on edge. And uh, when he starts like this, he gives us a great momentum going into the game. So um, we like what he's doing right now. Now we got to build on it. When you have a player like that, you follow his lead. Thanks, coach. Thanks, Allie. After the break, we'll see you right back here to begin quarter number three. Welcome, everybody. The story tonight has been a solid showing through the first half for the Los Angeles Clippers. Well, sometimes when you come in as a heavy favorite, you build the lead, then you take the foot off the gas. They've got the guard against that. This could be one of those trap games. Agreed. And I have nothing to add. All right, time to see how the Western Conference is stacking up. Well, I think for the Clippers, They've underperformed thus far, but they're still tremendous. Now comes the hard part. They've got to tinker with the team until they find that championship recipe. And that is going to do it for us. Let's get back to some second half action with Brian Anderson and company. If you just join it in, one half is in the books. One half to go. It's been one outstanding game from Kawhi Leonard. They've leaned on him to provide a lot of offense, and that's how he likes it. And you know what? They've come at him a few different ways defensively, and nothing has slowed him down. The Lakers trail. Vanderbilt at power forward with Davis in the middle. Cam Reddish is out there with LeBron James. And it's Prince in at the three spot. That's the Laker five. Here's Davis. Davis drawing the double team. Reddish knocks down the triple. Reddish has got five points. Simply found the open man there because he read the defense. Well done by Davis. And the Clippers have possession. Harden surveying the D. Pass to Leonard. It's going to be on LeBron James. LeBron That's his first James. foul of the game. Just a That's superb read on defense ball. to come up with the block. And this is exactly why he's out here, in order to block shots in tight games like this. The Lakers on D, trailing by four. Quick and smart, Prince finds all kinds of ways to disrupt shooters. This has been a close game in a lot of ways, but they do have an edge on the boards. We've seen it time and time again in games. Effort and determination on the glass can make up for a lot of other weaknesses. And let's send it over to Ali LaForce. For the Lakers to be successful, Coach Darvinham said, quote, Anthony Davis is the key. None of this works if he's not available and hitting on all cylinders. We've all seen what can happen when he's healthy and playing at a high level. It's just a matter of managing his body. Brian? That's a good point. That's true for everybody, too. Thanks, Allie. Shot clock at five. And book it for Vanderbilt. And it's this close. Every bucket matters. You need good looks. Third quarter of basketball. We're about a minute and a half in. George passes to Leonard. From the line, that one goes in. Kawhi Leonard's got 25 Leonard. points in the game. Yeah, Kawhi, a master of the mid-range. For most, it's not efficient, but for him, it's cash money. In transition! Here's Harden. Finished off the break. 
And now a six-point Clipper lead. And this kind of play is only going to grow their lead, holding the other guys down on defense and converting on the turnover. And the big issue for them, turnovers. Yeah, you just can't give away possessions in this league. Reddish is screen on Leonard. Vanderbilt against Leonard. Got a piece of it. It's stolen by Leonard. Pass to Harden. Second half of play here. We're just under two and a half minutes past. Leonard against James. The shake. Five on the clock. Whistle blows. Yep, that's going to be a travel. Lakers ball. And the Lakers shooting 67% for the game. Just outstanding. Outside Reddish. To the paint. Here's Prince. And denied. He sends it right off the glass. And Davis with the block. James outside. Oh, LeBron buries the three. He's become so comfortable from long range. That shot's now a weapon for LeBron. The Clippers have gone 2 of 5 in this third quarter. Zubac, screen. Harden against James. Harden, the pass to Zubac. And it's slammed in by Zubac. That was some slick passing from Harden on that one. Third quarter action. Just under three and a half minutes have passed. All right, Grant, talking about Avita Zubac. What do you like most about his game? Well, just his defensive presence. I mean, he's willing to challenge shots at the rim, refusing to give anything easy. Controls the rebound and the putback. Davis has got 15. Davis playing big. Love to see that. Creating extra scoring opportunities as a result. Here's George. Second chance shot. And Davis with the block. And he recovers it. Pass to Prince. Out to James. Now Reddish. Six on the shot clock. The Lakers got to get one up. Late clock. In transition. Here they go. Oh, 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 wow. oh, my goodness. Come on, yes, yes, and Harden, an absolutely vicious dunker. Terrific at bouncing towards the rim for the epic throwdown. On the AT&T 5G Slam Cam, good looks by our terrific camera crew. And James has got the ball here for the Lakers. It's a five-point game. Here's Prince. Giving this team some energy. Averaging a little over 10 points a game. Here's Davis. Oh, a clear foul there on the missed shot. So he'll get a pair at the line. It's going to be on Ibiza Zubac. That's just a savvy move by Anthony Davis. I mean, caught the defense off balance and was able to draw the contact. All right, guys, a breakdown here of the hustle stats for the Clippers. I like the fact that they've been very aggressive at the defensive end. Tenacious. They're jumping passing lanes and coming away with a lot of steals. And another note, how about the way they've cashed in off turnovers, taking advantage when given the extra opportunity. Both free throws good from Davis. The Clippers have gotten only four of ten shots to fall so far in the third. George passes to Zubas. James with the block. It's a part of his game that LeBron takes a lot of pride in shot blocking and defending. He's no slouch at that end of the floor. Back to Reddish. Pass to Davis. Shoots over Harden. And that one's good. Davis. Davis has got six in the quarter. Credit the plays they're calling for him. Getting him right now some good shots. George passes to Leonard. That shot, no good. Good D by Vanderbilt. Pass to James. And stolen by Leonard. It counts! And the foul! It's on LeBron James. 
That's an incredibly strong foul. player. Leonard able to second convert through the contact. Reeves is checked in for the Lakers. Russell Westbrook, he's Kawhi checked in for the Clippers. Leonard. At the line for one. The free throw drops for Leonard. And so it's the Lakers with it. Trailing by four. Pass to Reeves. Outside Davis. Outside Reddish. George against Vanderbilt. Five to shoot to the inside. The jump hook. And Davis with the basket. On the assist by Vanderbilt. Watching Davis do work like this is special. The Clippers shooting has been good. 54% on this one. Leonard on the wing. Over James. Leonard can't get it to go. He expects to make every one of those, and we expect him to make them too. Davis, the pass to Reeves. Pass to Davis. For the tie. And the layup is up and in. Davis has got 10 points in just the second half. Even when the defense is stellar, Davis still able to score the ball. That's what makes him an elite talent. He can make oh, hard oh. shots look easy. This is goes to Avica Zubas. The Lakers have gotten seven of their nine shots to fall. Timeout, Quality timeout. shooting timeout. in the second half. Oh, the Lakers call timeout. Right. Top rebounders in the league. Second is Anthony Davis. Just so strong on the boards. That's a skill that helps your team win games. Here's Reeves. Outside Vanderbilt. Zubats with the steal. George with it. Now Vanderbilt defending. Steps back and fires. And his fifth make of the game in 12 attempts. This right here, whew, this is how you want to play the game. With passion, with energy, just great hustle play right there. Here's Reeves. Yet to see a basket. High post Davis. Oh, that was pure. He's got another one. Now 10 for 12. And another great assist. The offense is really clicking now. You know, the defense has really been kept off balance because of the outstanding passes. Four straight field goals have been made off an assist. And so here are the Clippers. After the Lakers picking up a basket just moments ago, George finds Harden. Now Leonard fires for three. Oh, my goodness! He'll go to the line with a chance at a four-point play. It's on LeBron James. Hachimura is checked in for the Lakers. Russell comes in for Vanderbilt. Tucker's checked in for the Clippers. Powell comes in for Paul George. The free throw drops for Leonard. The Lakers have gone 8 of 10 in the third and looking in control. Back to Russell. Pass to Reeves. Here's Davis. Checked by Tucker. Just five on the clock. On the wing, Reeves. Outside Russell. Shoots over Westbrook. The shot by Russell, no good. And so it's Leonard who brings up the ball for the Clippers. Six-point lead. Back to Westbrook. Yes, and it's Leonard with the assist that time. Leonard's got his fourth assist with that last one. You know, so often we see Westbrook with the ball driving or pulling up off the dribble. He can catch and shoot it just as well. Now here's Hachimura. His offense has been solid, scoring around 11 and a half points a game. Davis, the pass to Hachimura. Davis with a screen on Leonard. Looking to win the run. 
Oh, and there's the whistle on the shot. So two free throws for him coming. That's his first personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for Los Angeles, Rui Hachimura. He misses the free throw. Woods checked in for Reddish. And the Clippers making a change here as well. Highlands checked in. And that trip coming up empty. Missing both. The Clippers in the lead. Pass to Westbrook. Tucker with the ball. The drive by Powell. Now here's Westbrook. Uses the glass on the layup. Westbrook's got seven. <laughs> I just love the ball movement. They just can't stop this run. And honestly, the more empty trips they have, the more they feel the pressure. Davis finds Wood. Outside Russell. Pass to Davis. Two minutes remaining in the third. Two minutes. Plenty of contact on that shot. Officials call the foul, and he'll take two free throws now. You know, Davis is so long and strong inside, he almost forces you to foul him. At the line for the Lakers. And he knocks down the first one. Anthony Davis. Two shots. And good on the second, so he makes them both. A minute 53 left to play in the third quarter. Leonard against Wood. Leonard, left side. Double team on Leonard. Pass to Tucker. Back to Leonard. And Davis with the block. One thing they've done well tonight, and that's rebounding. Yeah, you know, they're hustling and giving a good effort, that's for sure. But unfortunately, the execution has been lacking. Here's Reeves. Wood passes to Russell. Terrific read on the part of Russell that time. Scanned the court, spotting the open man, and then whipped it there for an easy buck. Here's Westbrook. He's got seven. Pass to Tucker. Out to Leonard. Just five to shoot. Three-pointer. Russell with the rebound. And that's a strong closeout defensively. Great effort to deter the shot. And they pick up two. And now just a five-point Clipper lead. Boy, he's making it look really easy right now. I expect him to continue to run the offense through him until the defense makes him change plans. Russell against Westbrook. Pass to Leonard. The jump hook. Wood grabs the board. Wood's got four rebounds in the game. And here's Russell. And he's going for the oop here. And finished off by Davis. There's no stopping that. AD is too long and strong to bother that alley oop. Well, I tell you what, he's going to put a lot of pressure on their perimeter shooting. He can't go hurt those teams. And so it's Kawhi Leonard making highlights for the Clippers. He's been an offensive force. Now with over 30 points after the quarter. And don't go far. We'll be right back. And let's take this opportunity to show you our State Farm assist to the game. <laughs> Just a selfless decision from your two guard, showing his ability to get his teammates good looks. Yeah, and as a two guard, he's typically not a reluctant shooter. So it was really nice to see him orchestrating for a teammate instead. And with three quarters behind us, we'll start the fourth in what is still anybody's ball game. Floor for the Clippers here in the fourth. Kyle and George are out on the wings. Then there's Russell Westbrook. Then there's P.J. Tucker. And it's Brown in at the four-man position. 
the Lakers trail. Outside Russell. Pass to Achimura. Now, here is James. Hounded by Westbrook. Not to be deterred! LeBron! They have no answer defensively inside. Yeah, and that's four straight field goals now they've allowed from point-blank range. Can't happen. Now here's Powell. Brown with a screen. Unloads from 13. And he hits the jumper. Good move inside. Finishing through some tough defense. He'll battle you anytime he's around the rim. Pass to Russell. Shoots over Westbrook. The shot by Russell. No good. Good idea with the fadeaway. But the defense was just all over it. Here's Reeves. Now covers. Reeves, the pass to James. Using his post moves to get the two points. James has got four points now in the quarter. Hey, I really like what I'm seeing from LeBron here tonight. Keeping it simple. He's going to the hot hand, which is him. That's pretty good. The Clippers shooting a solid 53% from the floor. Pass to Tucker. Here's George. There's the block. Now Achimura. Russell deciding where to go with it. Down to five on the shot clock. That puts him in the lead. Coming down the stretch, it's still anyone's game. Incredible effort and energy on both sides. These guys must be gassed. And here are the Clippers now. It's a one-point game. Westbrook, the pass to George. Westbrook with a screen on Achimura. Here's George, and it goes straight through with a swish. And George continues to build on his offensive repertoire over time. I mean, if you stay off of him and you give him too much space, he'll burn you for that mistake. Now, here is James. And the Lakers hit again from deep. And that's a clutch shot by a big-time shooter. And where's the D? George against Hachimura. They get the rebound. Kicks it to George. Drains the triple. George has got nine points now in the second half. Draining his first three of the game. No doubt hoping to build up a little momentum from outside. Here's James. And so the ball out of bounds. Brown touched it last. And the Lakers making a change here. Reddish is checked in. And the Clippers making a change here as well. James Harden, he's checked in for Brown. Here in the fourth quarter, just under two and a half gone by. James passes to Reddish. Off the mark there with a three. And here's Westbrook. He'll bring it up for the L.A. Clippers. That's tipped. Wood with it. Harden picks him up. Pass to Reddish. To the middle. James inside. George defending. And that one's good. James. And now, almost all their points coming from the paint. The Clippers have got three of six shots to go in this fourth quarter. James against George. And here's Tucker. Inside. Harden with a bucket. Harden's got 19 points. Love the defensive enthusiasm, but Harden will either beat the contact or draw the foul. Russell against Westbrook. And it's the Clippers on the break. And then Harden with the jam. And that's got to hurt. A turnover for a free run at the rim. And now we know who has the momentum. 
you know, those kinds of plays can be difference makers, game changers, momentum shifters, especially in a close contest where one or two possessions can impact the outcome. Here's Russell after the Clippers picking up a basket just a moment ago. James inside towards defending. James can't get it to go. The Clippers have gone five of eight from the field so far in the fourth. And it's blocked by Wood. Boy, what a denial by Wood. He relishes the chance to throw it out of there. Basket's good. James has got 11 in the second half. That's a great move right there. But really, you just expect those kind of plays from him now. And here are the Clippers now. They lead by one. Pass to Harden. True on the 14-footer. Harden's got six in the quarter. Harden is lethal. His accuracy on point. You think it's a tough shot, but not so for him. Time called here. The Lakers decide to talk it over. At this point in the game, fourth quarter, it's always important to stay focused. And while the coach goes over the plans, these players are getting a much-needed chance to get hydrated with some Gatorade. Attention, fans. And the Lakers with some changes. Davis, he's checked in for Wood. And Vanderbilt is subbed in for Russell. Zubac, he's checked in for the Clippers. Leonard comes in for Russell Westbrook. A chance here to catch up with Allie from the sideline. Thanks, guys. Darvin Ham had some words for his team over the break. He isn't liking what he's seeing out there on the perimeter, saying to his guys, defensively, we're too lax, and they're getting any three they want. And offensively, the ball movement, it is isn't crisp, which is why we're not getting many opportunities from outside. I want to see improvement on both ends. Okay, good stuff. Thank you, Allie. The Clippers have gotten six of ten attempts to drop in the fourth quarter. Pass to Harden. Leonard against James. Blocked! You wonder what the score would be if they weren't controlling the glass. It's clearly been their edge, and in a close game like this, you look for every edge you can find. The Clippers in the lead. Leonard looking over the floor. the bucket counts and he is on his way to the line he'll try to make it a three-point play prince has checked in for the lakers man he's checked in for the clippers shooting for la Kawhi leonard at the line for one one shot Free throw drops for Leonard. The Lakers have gotten 7 of 12 shots to drop in this fourth quarter. Here's James. It's tipped. Harden against Reddish. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Carries it from about 10 feet away. Leonard's got 14 points here in the second half. Deep into the game, you rely on players like him to keep delivering. Here's Reddish, and there's a whistle. He'll head to the line to shoot two. Good man, but the defender really went after him. Yeah, if you're going to foul, then make sure that you don't give a chance for the and one. At the line for Los Angeles, Cameron Reddish. Two shots. First one falls for him. And that's good as he hits both shots. And it's Leonard with the ball for the LA Clippers. Outside Harden. Pass to George. Here's Leonard. Vanderbilt with the block. Here's 
James. Hey, it's James slamming it down. LeBron showing you how he does it. A stylish flush by King James. The Clippers have gotten 8 of 14 shots to drop so far here in the fourth quarter. Harden, the pass to Leonard. Leonard, double team. Now here's George. That three's off the mark. Harden against Davis. Outside Reddish. Outside Vanderbilt. Six to shoot. Right side, Davis. To tie it up. And he hits it to tie the game. Davis has got 35 in the game. AD just shoving past the inside contact that time. Powerful move getting it done. The Clippers shooting around 53% in the fourth. Harden against James. Shot from the low block. Nice shot by Harden. James Harden. Harden's got eight points in the quarter. He's delivering for his team when it matters most. Composed under pressure, and he's now four for four here in the fourth. Pick by Prince. Outside Vanderbilt. Knocked loose. Reddish with it. Back to James. Pass to Reddish. Now Davis. James with the ball. Shot clock at six. Prince can't hit. Prince has gone one for three from the field here. The offensive rebound. James with the block. Outside Reddish. Pass to Vanderbilt. Back to James. Reddish with it. Defended by Harden. Double team on James. The three from Prince. Here's Davis. Somehow scores the layup in traffic. Davis has got 37. Poise under pressure to produce at the right time in the big time. AD. That's his second personal foul. Second team foul. At the line for the Clippers, Paul George. Two Take shots. Right. Take right. Two shots. The first one falls. You're not going to find many better two-way players than George. He gets after it at both ends every night. George hits them both. And he doesn't let the pressure get to him. Cool and confident from the line. Two minutes remain in the Outside ball. Reddish. Two Back to James. Outside Reddish. Pass to James. Now here's Reddish. He's guarded closely. And he's headed to the line for two. He gets the whistle there. And the foul goes against the Clippers. team foul. At the line for two, Cameron Reddish. So the first one drops, and that narrows the gap to one. Both good from the line that time. Making them when it matters most. Those trips to the line can build some confidence. against George. Pass to Harden. Here's Mann. Harden with a screen on Reddish. Mann. Pass to Zubat. Here's Harden. Rejected by James. And he's able to get it back. And there's the shot clock violation. Couldn't get the shot off in time. An excellent opportunity here. Seizing the lead right now would be huge. Here comes LeBron. And slam dunk by James. LeBron James is clutch. Not the first time he's done that, nor will it be the last. And 
so it's Harden with it. He brings it up for the Clippers. Trailing by two. Zubox with a screen on James. Pass to George. Again with the block. A defensive stalwart so far. That's six blocks. Protecting the rim well. Love the hustle. It's been great to see guys who don't back down under pressure. Cool, calm, collected, and confident in the biggest moment of the game. Yes. Timeout called. The Lakers. It's time for defense. Fifty-one seconds left in the fourth quarter. James goes in. Oh, 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 oh. Boy, is it tough to stop LeBron right now. Four seconds left in the fourth quarter here. George against Prince. George passes to Zubac. He connects! And he's tied it up! What a shot! I like the play call. Very solid. Making perfect use of the pick to get a great look. This possession could decide the game. And you really have to be smart with the ball here. Here's James. That's a critical basket there. Now they have to guard the perimeter tight. Can't give up a three. Now a timeout called by the Clippers. They trail by two. There's 21 seconds left in the fourth quarter of this one. All right, guys, what do you think? A chance to tie it up here. A critical possession, no doubt. We'll see what they draw up. George against Davis. And it's in. Oh, well, Paul George has been sensational. And the Lakers call time here. Attention, fans. All four is your high squad. Get out and let them hear it. Let's make some noise. We are the sixth man. James, outside. Inside and it's still not good enough. And so it's the Lakers who scrape by with the win. That was an incredible night of hoops. A tremendous finish. They waited until the very last moment to seal it. And so many times we see these close games won by the home team. Thanks for coming out. And now we have Allie LaForce standing with the player of the game. Allie, take it away. Anthony, the chemistry between you and LeBron. How much of that is your skill set versus your connection as teammates? Um, we both respect each other. We know what we both can do on the floor on both ends. And when we get out and run and we run into our pick and roll, um, it's hard to guard. You know, he's able to shoot the ball and they go under. Um, he's a monster attacking the basket. You know, I'm rolling or popping. It kind of makes up the uh, defense scheme. And anytime we're able to, to get into that action, it's unguardable. It's unguardable, a combo anyone would love to have. Thanks, AD. Allie, thank you as always. And that about wraps it up. And now we present the New Balance player of the game, Anthony Davis.